So the end of 2024 is around the corner and in just few days we will be entering into the 2025 and by the end of this December I will be completing my 7 years in the IT industry and all these years in the big data plus data engineering. So I thought why not to summarize all my experience in this video that what kind of different companies I worked for, what kind of companies I cracked, what was my tech stack, how did I learn the things, what kind of projects I was working on and how I upskilled myself to acquire the modern data engineering skill sets. So watch it till the very end. So after completing my MCA from NIT Prayagraj, I got my first job as a software engineer in 2017. So first six months were basically for the internship and then obviously they offered me the full time offer as well. So the kind of data domain, the kind of project I got, it was basically for the aviation domain. And to be very honest, during my MC program, I did not focus on the development part a lot. I had no idea about the big data, Hadoop, whatsoever. I just copied few projects from my seniors, mugged up things related to the Android development, web development. So I was just a bit okayish on that part. So it was a complete, uh, you can say new world for me first step in the IT industry and first step into the Hadoop and big data part as well. So the first project was related to the aviation domain. It gave me a really, really good exposure, good understanding of the aviation sector and how things work. So the tech stack was very lean. Big data solution we were trying to build. It was basically to give the 360 overview of a customer's journey from the airport A to B. It was the bit of SQL, Python, shell scripting, vector-wise database and the Hadoop component, basically the HDFS part and the proprietary tool of that company, which was Opera solution. So this is how I was working on. So I got really good mentors and I would say that time period was the life changing and my mentors gave me a good direction that what big data is data engineering the future so that uh, it generated the curiosity and i thought yes this is the profile i will look forward to and i started exploring different things on my own like spark hive and few nosql databases so that i can prepare myself and in last uh, four to five months uh, before leaving that company, I was also working on a pharmaceutical projects. So the same tech stack was there. Faced many rejections that time, like the beginning of 2019. So a lot of rejections because I was not having that much good experience in data engineering and wasn't not having so many cool tech stack in my resume and in my skill set. So that was a challenging part, but and a really important announcement for all the aspiring data engineers so if you are someone who want to become a data engineer, want to crack your dream job with their dream package and a dream company too, and is still struggling that what is the right approach to prepare how to acquire the most demanding tech skill set, then don't worry, I am here to help you with my platform Grow Data Skills, where I have started the new batch of data engineering bootcamp with AWS. This is going to be a three months of bootcamp that to complete live classroom environment and you will be learning the complete data engineering from basic to advanced without any prerequisite just the basics of python and you will become a top-notch data engineer really really soon so in this bootcamp i will be starting the things from the sql hadoop hive nosql databases mongodb cassandra airflow data warehousing data modeling databricks snowflake dedicated aws bigquery Flink, Iceberg Hoodie, which are the new, new edition of this particular bootcamp and more than 15 plus industry grade projects we are going to cover from the scratch. The link is given in the description or you can visit www.growdataskills.com to join my bootcamp and you will be getting dedicated placement assistance here in the private discord community where you can ask your offline doubts. Plus, I also take the live doubt session after each live classes. And here we are help you with tons of job opportunities, dedicated interview preparation, guide, quizzes, tons of assignments, their solution, case studies, and so many things with the resume building preparation and the LinkedIn profile making things. So this is what you are going to get at very tiny cost. So what are you waiting for? Join it today and learn data engineering from basic to advanced in live classroom from me. There was one company which shows uh, interest in me and that was Paytm. I applied on their career page and in just few days I got the uh, call for the interview. So you can say that was going to be the turning point of my life as a full time data engineer. There I worked on the AWS dedicatedly on Hive 
Spark and the Python part, the SQL and worked on the NoSQL databases, got an exposure of working on the Django framework plus Scala Play framework. So it was a very good, good experience. Somehow it gave me a really good push towards the data engineering part. So one year in Paytm, I worked on really cool projects related to batch data pipelining, real time data pipelining. Uh, mostly related to the payments and the Paytm mall entity of the Paytm. So build the solutions for those. So it was an overall good experience. If it was that good, why did I leave Paytm? So the answer is uh, at the end of 2019, there were lots of changes in the leadership. And because of that one, things were getting micromanaged and our entire team didn't like it. To be very honest, a lot of people uh, from my team left the Paytm during that time period and it wasn't giving a very positive vibe that was the reason i also thought okay i will be moving out from the paytm and to be very honest if you do not feel comfortable anywhere and you are not getting a good healthy team environment i won't say that you should stay there for longer time and that time uh, being a fresher to be very honest like three years experience from 2017 to the end of 2019 just three years of experience I thought to uh, experiment a bit with uh, my profile that what else I can explore, right? Let's try to figure it out. So that time I thought to apply in the consulting firms because when I was in my first company, I heard a lot about the big four and the consulting firms like BCG, McKinsey and their culture and all that. So I was quite uh, fascinated with that. So I thought why not to try uh, this kind of profile like the consultant data engineer in these kind of big big consulting firms so that's what i did i interviewed at mckinsey in company and i cracked the junior data engineer role so there uh, it was a very good environment right anyone who is very fond of traveling across the globe you must go for the consulting companies uh, and uh, overall if you want the exposure of working on different domains in the short span of time right the consulting companies are a good place to work with because there you will be working on a projects for a short period of time like three months four months of time period so your domain expertise will improve and time to time the tech stack may also change so in the mckinsey i was basically working on the uh, framework named as kedro and i got exposure on the uh, azure cloud as well plus the python sql so this was the overall tech stack and it was a short journey just four month journey in the mckinsey and during that uh, time period, I got exposure of working on the telecom data. One of the client was related to the telecom. I left the McKinsey uh, by the time the COVID was starting because the reason was, first of all, uh, I had to travel. So I was in the Thailand for my uh, first project related to the telecom. And that time I realized maybe I'm not that kind of person who can stay for a longer period of time, uh, like in a foreign country that was one of the reason plus uh, some homesickness and many other reasons right that's what i said in the beginning i was just being a fresher i was giving it a try uh, and being a fresher you learn from these things that what is actually working out for you and what is not so because of all those reasons i thought uh, let's move out from here maybe i'm not uh, going to survive for a longer period of time so it's better to find a good opportunity product based companies uh, so that uh, like i can work there so that was the time period i got the opportunity uh, for the amazon i got the interview call and my amazon story i'm pretty sure many of you already know that uh, like before this next attempt in 2020 for amazon for the data engineering profile i got rejected by amazon two times one in 2016 when amazon visited my college for the uh, campus drive and next in 2019 itself when i was looking for my first switch itself that was the second time amazon rejected me in the third round so this was my third attempt in 2020 with amazon for the data engineering l4 level and this time finally i cracked it working at amazon was a different experience because before the amazon i did not get a full-fledged exposure on the cloud tech stack and this was the best opportunity for me i built uh, so many scalable data pipelines on the aws used services like S3, Lambda, Glue, Redshift, Athena, EventBridge, and the QuickSight, AppFlow, Python, SQL, and many other things for the CI CD part as well. So very, very good experience. So I 
spent almost two years at Amazon. And in these two years, I worked on different, different use cases, like again, the batch and the streaming pipeline. Although the team I was working for, uh, they were not having a huge data scale and uh, they were not having very challenging use cases. And at the end, this became the main reason for me to leave the Amazon because for starting uh, some time, it was fine because my main purpose was to learn the cloud tech stack, which I definitely learned, but to improve more and more in the data engineering, I had to work on different things. I was expecting challenging use cases, the good volume of the data and the good challenging case studies to work on. And that is something which was missing in that particular team because the team was related to the employee services and HR related data. So you can imagine the data volume wasn't that uh, big. So that was the reason. I left the uh, Amazon in the uh, like end of 2021 itself and this time when I was preparing for my next interview, I basically decided a couple of things uh, for me to improve in the data engineering. So even by the time I was working at Amazon and even before that, I did not get a full fledged exposure of working on complex real time data streaming pipeline. I worked on few POCs but that did not give me a really good good exposure and experience you can say so i was very clear that whatever company i am going to join next i am looking forward for the real time streaming uh, kind of pipeline projects and the use cases second thing obviously good environment and uh, all that which i got in the amazon as well in my team right there was nothing like the toxicity and whatever you hear frequently about the amazon it was good so this was uh, the thing I was looking for and money part is something which was the second priority. First, the good work life balance plus the good projects of my desire, which I already mentioned. So that is the thing I was looking for. So when I was uh, making switch from Amazon to some other company, I got the offers from the Google itself. Right. And I got the offer from the Grab and few other companies and wherever I interviewed again, they were offering more money but the point is the team and the projects again somehow i was told to get into the batch data pipelining use cases and that was something i already said i was not looking forward to that one and that time i also got the interview opportunity at expedia and i cracked it and i opted for expedia above any other company the reason is there i was getting the exposure of working on streaming data pipeline from the scratch the project which was about to start i was going to be part of that one and expedia also matched those offers so it was a complete win-win situation for me and i joined the expedia for the data engineer three role so within expedia i was basically part of the commerce team it means the pipeline i was going to build it was related to the financial data means all the supplier uh, related finances we were going to manage through our pipelines. So I got exposure on cool tech stack like the Apache Flink for the very first time I was working on it. The Docker, Kubernetes, Spinnaker, Splunk, Java, Python and the Scylla DB, GraphQL. And this was the overall tech stack which I was using very frequently in Expedia to work on some really cool streaming data pipelines got a really good exposure of working with flink kafka and build those kind of uh, scalable streaming pipelines got to learn so many uh, cool concepts so that was the time with the expedia two years and again as i said uh, till the two years i learned a lot of things but by the end of my second year at expedia i started feeling saturated with the use cases i was working for and again when you work with these kind of well-managed top product based companies, there is a very long hierarchy of the leadership and their approval. And sometimes being a developer, this is something which is a very annoying thing because uh, you have built something, you have given your efforts and at the end, just because of some random discussion uh, on the leadership side, things are not going or things are not moving on to the production. So as a developer, this is something which is very, very frustrating. You need at least a smooth channel and the quick fast and the efficient decision making so that 
uh, we as a developer are also enjoying that whatever we are working on it is having a bigger bigger impact so now after that in the start of 2024 uh, i joined the very very fast moving startup prophecy so here in prophecy as well i am getting a really good exposure of working with a uh, different kind of users and they are having different different tech stacks so sometime i am working with uh, databricks sometimes gcp sometimes it's azure sometimes it's aws snowflake and many other uh, open source plus on premises plus a uh, cloud kind of tech stack so i am enjoying my time here working on really challenging use cases as well many times so overall the experience has been really good so far and let's see how long i am going to be here and let's see how things go for me in 2025 at prophecy so this was my overall 7 years of experience working at different companies so during this discussion one thing you would have realized that how my journey uh, started and where i am currently and the kind of exposure i got the kind of tech skills i was exposed to data engineering domain is moving very very fast the market has become really really competitive so if you are just stick with the very basic tech stack of data engineering then uh, it will be hard for you to find a better place this is the point i would like to make keep upskilling yourself doesn't matter if you are not getting the practical exposure of some xyz tech stack let's say you are working in your company for last 3 years and so far you have not got any exposure of snowflake data breaks or any nosql database but in these three years one thing you have realized by looking at other job descriptions by looking at multiple linkedin posts by looking at multiple roadmaps does these things are very hot in the industry so maybe after working in your current company for three to four years if you are planning to move you have to learn these things if you are not doing so how will you stand out from other candidates in the interviews make sure time to time you upgrade your skills just look at the different jds whenever you get the chances and try to see what kind of things they have started asking for and side by side along with your project and that skills you are learning in some uh, company make sure to work on these skill set as well create some hands on projects so that you have a practical understanding of these things as well and that was the purpose as well uh, right i started this grow data skills platform like 2 years back so i started it the main purpose was to give my personalized experience of data engineering to all aspiring data engineers at a very affordable price plus the quality content plus the industry grade of projects so with that motivation and vision i started grow data skills i am i am very happy that thousands of students across the globe has trusted me and a lot of aspiring data engineers data scientists data analysts have transformed their journey uh, with the grow data skills so you can also do the same whenever you feel so and for that you can definitely visit www.growdataskills.com and you can check out the link in the description as well plus if you have any query or any type of question make sure to give us a call and you can always drop a whatsapp message on this number and i hope you enjoyed this one if yes then let me know any of your thoughts opinions comments whatever you want to share with me in the comments i would love to hear them so i will see you guys really soon in another video till then just keep exploring data